Your objective today is I can calculate the distance between ordered pairs on a graph. Um, ordered pairs are x, y, All right? And uh, you're going to be given a graph every time you're going to be asked to do this. So you're going to have a bunch of steps you need to write down. Remember, you need to show the guest teacher your notes in order to get the worksheet, which is homework due tomorrow. It should not take you very long. So how can we find the distance between two points? All right, so the first step is to draw a line between the two points. So I drew a line connecting the two points and notice it's a diagonal line, All right? And then we need to think about, um, it's not that we're not doing the same thing as slope, but we're thinking about how we find slope, which we find slope by rising and then running. So we find slope by going up and down and we run left and right. And when we rise and we run, we stay on the grid lines. Like we don't go off of the grid lines, we stay on the line, okay? Which is really, really important because our main goal is we're trying to draw a right triangle so that we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this. So once I draw a line between two points, I draw a line showing the rise. So if you can see here, this blue line right here, that's the line showing the rise. Okay, I just went up. I just went, like if I was counting rise, that's how I would count rise, going up. This time we're actually gonna draw the line and show it. All right, then, oops, we, then we draw a line showing the run. So we drew the rise and then we connected it over to the other one showing the run. So now if you notice, we have a right triangle, which is kind of cool, right? Because we know how to do things with right triangles. So to figure out the measurements of the legs, all right, we, we count the boxes of each leg. So like, we count each box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's just me showing you how to count the boxes. It's like we're counting the rise, okay? And the rise is seven. And so, therefore, we're going to put the six and the seven on for these legs, okay? Because the top leg, there's six boxes. All right? So now it becomes really easy. All we do is solve for the hypotenuse C. So we again know that the top is six and the side is seven. So we're gonna substitute the numbers in. So we're gonna have seven squared plus six squared equals C squared. 49 plus 36 equals C squared. We add 49 plus 36, which is 85. And then you can use your Desmos calculator today and you take the square root of 85 and you should get nine point something, 9.2. All right, so the distance between those two points on the graph is 9.2. And again, you can't just count the black line because as you see, this is not a perfect number here. All right, let's try one more. The same steps apply. The first thing we're gonna do is connect the two dots. The next thing you're gonna do, if you remember, is we're gonna count the rise. So the rise and bear with me because it's not gonna be perfect, is going up here. I think I went a little too far. And then I'm gonna go over to the run. All right, and there I have a right triangle. Then I count the boxes. So my rise is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And my run is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I want you to pause the video and I want you to calculate the hypotenuse.
All right, you should have paused the video and you should have calculated and you should have gotten 12.0 or zero four. Okay. All right, last one. What if the points are not on the graph? So find the distance between the points two seven and negative two three. You will always be given a graph with this. So all you have to do first is actually graph the points, which you should know how to do. We go x first, so 2, we go over 2 in the to the right, and then we go up to 7. So 2, 7 is right there. And then we go to the left 2 and down 3 to get 2, negative 3. Okay? And then we follow the same steps. We connect the 2. Oh, my. That was terrible. <laughs> That's better, not great. And then we rise and we run. So we're gonna go up and over. And then we're gonna count the sides. So my rise was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My run is one, two, three, four. And then I calculate the hypotenuse, which I will not make you do. All right, um, show the guest to your notes. You will be given your um, homework assignment, which is due tomorrow. Please use your time wisely because we're moving on tomorrow when I get back.